Hello and welcome to another version of a word from the bird. Uh, my name is Nathan Siebing and I'm the principal of Hamilton District Christian High School. And last week or two weeks ago, we did a video podcast of uh, Tim Lucas. If you haven't had a chance to do that, go to our YouTube channel and have a look at that one. Uh, but it got such a good review from so many people. They enjoyed it so much. I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a few more of these and interview a few more of the students that are at HDCH so you can get to know uh, some of the students who walk the halls of HD. And this week with me, I've got Jessica Heidbert. And Jessica Heidbert is uh, a grade 12 student at HDCH, has been here since grade 9. And uh, we're going to walk through a few questions and just talk about, you know, some of the things that she likes and enjoys, and especially one of her, her passions and sparks uh, that, that she's good at and that she likes to be... Uh, well, I think we'll we'll hear a little bit more about Jessica. Jessica, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. So we're going to do a little interview here, Jessica, and we'll see how it goes. And I want to make sure that all of our stuff's working here so all the questions are up. Um, but but Jessica, for those of – some of us know you. Some of us know you well. Some of us have watched you grow up. Right. Uh, and others of us don't know who Jessica is. Jessica, what do you do here? What 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 do you love and – What's going on at HD for you? Well, I go to school here. Yep. Um, what do I love? I don't love the school part so much, but I do love being social. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I'm very social. Um, I love playing sports. I play volleyball, and I have played badminton and baseball and soccer in the past. So. All at HD? All at HD. Do you play outside of HDCH? Um, I play in a soccer league outside of HD, and I played volleyball for a year outside of HD. Okay. So you play a bit of sport at HDCH. Yes. Um, do do you? What's the, the the big sport you play is volleyball. Volleyball is your sport. Yes. Um, okay. So, tell us about sort of the season of volleyball. When does volleyball start at HDCH uh, for girls? This is senior girls volleyball, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. When does it start? Um, this year we actually started right away. We started having just like tryout practices in the morning just to get into the season um, every Wednesday morning. And then you come in before school to play volleyball? But yeah, 7.30 seven like in the morning, so, yep, crazy stuff. Good. Hard for us to get up, but it's okay. Good. We made it. We were good. Good. Um, How many girls come to that? Um, about 15, 15 to 20. Anybody can come to that? Yeah, anybody can come. It's open. Oh, right on. Cool. Yep. Keep going. So what else? When does the season start? Um, um, tryouts usually start at the mid, mid-November. mid Okay. So that's when they started this year. Okay. And we had three, and then he made the team, so... Yes. Okay, so you've you've got a team just made. Yes. So the senior girls volleyball team is just made. Yep. Did you make the team, Jessica? I did. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, so you start now. Uh, when does your season start? When's your when's your first game, league game, and sort of talk to us about the season and sort of when does it end? Okay. Well, this year it's a long season. Okay. Uh, because we're going to OFSA, so okay. we have an automatic buy into it. We're going to OFSA. Yes. We'll talk a little bit more about what OFSA means yes. uh, a little bit later, but just keep that in mind. We're going to OFSA. Right. Um, so this week we, had, we have usually two or three practices a week before league games. Okay. And then when league games start, we have about one one to two practices a week. Okay. Um, league and games, then one league game. One league game, yeah. One or two league games? Usually one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, sometimes we do two on the same day. It depends Got it. how Like how a mini tournament kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we have this year we have six tournaments that we're going to, so that's a, quite a bit. Wow. This year. When yep. do you go to tournaments? Um, depends. It, it varies. Like this week we have one on Friday, and and usually it's spread out throughout the whole season, so it's not like they're all in a row. Okay. But yeah. Yep. So it, it ends. You said it's a long season. You said you're going to OFSA, but you didn't tell us how long that is necessarily. So you're gonna go. So season goes November. What about Christmas break? Do you? practice over Christmas um, break? We try to have at least one practice during Christmas break. Oh, wow. Yep. yep. And then, yeah, we have another break when exams come, too, so, okay. we, can, so we can study. That's at the end of January, That's then? That's at the end of January, Does yes. it continue after in February? Yes, it goes okay. February and then also into March now. Oh, wow. Yep. So we've got events from mid-November till the beginning of March. Yes. Hopefully there's no snow on the ground Hopefully. when that all comes around. Yes. So you're going to go the whole winter season. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. So uh, six tournaments... Uh, you're going to be doing uh, different different tournaments. Like um, we go to a Christian <laughs> school tournament, correct? Yes, we do. It's an overnight tournament. Okay. And when's that? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I think it's bef 
Oh, no. It's probably after Christmas. Okay. But I don't quote me on that. Okay. Not 100%. You don't have your schedule in Not, front of you. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I was, I was curious, at that Christian school tournament, how many teams are there? Quite a few. Last year, I think there was around 10 to 15 teams. Okay. Not 100% on that, but... Yeah, there's quite a few Christian teams that show up from everywhere. From everywhere being all across Ontario. For, yes. That's an invitational tournament. All the teams across Ontario go. Yes. Is that OFSA? Is that OFSA? Yeah. No. That's not OFSA. That's just... You were just talking about OFSA. So yes. what is OFSA then? OFSA is when you have all Ontario teams, Christian or public, it doesn't matter, private or public, and you compete to see, I guess, who comes out on top the best in the province the best in the province okay so we get to go to OFSA why do we get to go to OFSA um well this year we're hosting OFSA so we got lucky buy into OFSA but we are gonna earn our way into OFSA mm, okay yes. so you have to earn your way in so let's talk about that yeah there's league play yes and then from league play where do you go um to playoffs playoffs so if you Playoffs doesn't really matter about okay. OFSA. It okay. depends how you do in SASA. Okay. So. Got to get to SASA. Got to get to SASA. SASA stands for Southern Ontario Secondary School Association. Yes. I knew that. <laughs> so, we get to uh, SASA when we when we qualify at SASA. What happens next? Um, you go. So you play. It depends how many people are in, are in the the. The Sasa tournament. Okay. Usually there's four. Okay. So if you come out on top, you go to offset. Okay. Sometimes Got depends it. on y there's two teams that go to offset. I mean, so yeah, to offset. It, it depends. It depends who who's hosting and okay. there's different rules. For so it. for those of us who are listening closely, follow the girls volleyball team. Watch them qualify for playoffs through their league play, and then once they qualify for playoffs, it'll qualify them for Sasa. They have to then qualify SASA at SASA to get to OFSA. That's what she's talking about. Yep. OFSA, end of the end of March, beginning of March, when is it? Middle of March from the 9th to 11th. So what you're telling me is the best high school girls volleyball teams are going to be at HDCH from March no 11th, 9th to 9th. March 11th. Yes. Okay. Quite an event. Yes. Have you ever been to an OFSA? Never. Never? Nope. Have you ever heard about OFSA events? I have. My brother used to play okay. soccer and volleyball. And okay. He's gone to OFSA for those. Okay. So. so you've only heard from your older brother yes. that it's good, it's not so good. It's good. It's fun, the best. Fun times, best. It's the best thing you can do as a high school athlete. Yeah, I think so, yes. Okay. HDCH gets to host that. That's a big deal, isn't it? Yes. Cool. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited about watching our girls volleyball team play this year. I'm pretty I'm, excited uh, to play. Yeah, <laughs> and I wish you the best. I wish it goes well for you guys. Thank you very and, much. And uh, I hope, uh, and I know I speak on behalf of the whole HDCH community that we're really pulling for you. And yep. go Knights, no, go! And hopefully, <laughs> you know, we see a, uh, we'll, we'll see at Offsa for sure. But then uh, we'll have some fun, you know, cheering you on. Yep. Now I know that there's going to be some things that come up. There'll be a number of advertisements for Offsa for people to uh, participate at OFSA as a volunteer and stuff like that because it's a big event. Right. Volunteer. Um, we need volunteers. We do need volunteers. Yes. Okay. So we're going to need some volunteers for our OFSA event. Uh, I heard that there's upwards of 400 athletes that are going to be around the Hamilton area participating in this event. So clearly, uh, I think it's 20 teams are coming into the area. So it's a lot of, uh, lot of athletes going to be around and yeah. coaches and people. So... HDCH hospitality has got to be at its finest. For sure. Which we're excited to, to do and we're good at. Yeah. Um, so, I, yeah, I wish it's a great season for you, and we yeah. look forward to seeing you around. And to those who are listening, uh, make sure you get out and watch one of our girls' volleyball games and, and stay tuned to the results. Thanks, Jessica. Yeah, no problem. All right. Have a great day, and take care, uh, HDCH. We'll see you around, and stay tuned for some more uh, student interviews uh, through this video podcast. Have a good day.